Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play the integers version of Scruffy's Escape. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. If you click the play button, you'll go to the game. If you click this button here, you'll see the high scores, and you can use these arrow keys to move up and down to see all the scores. Let's go ahead and close that out by clicking the close button. This will turn the sound on and off, this button here. And the question will sh mark will button will show you how, um, the instructions. And it'll it also has this link to the video you're watching now. So go ahead and close that out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the game. Now, when you click play, it'll give you a the, the level selection menu. And during that time, you can't click any of these. These are disabled. If you want, if you need to uh, hit any of these buttons, you need to close this out. And then you can click any of these buttons you want to click. And when you first start out, you're not going to have any stars here because you've not completed a level, nor have you gotten any stars. And you can look at the other levels, but when they have an X in them, you're not going to be able to play at that level. But once you complete a level, successfully complete a level, it'll open the next level. And I'll show you that because I'm going to go through uh, probably two or three levels in this video, and you get an idea on how to play. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and click. Well, if I click it now, nothing happens because the uh, level's not available. Let's go ahead and bring up the first level, which is open. And it tells me to click Go. And gives me a little. The, the first time you you go through the game uh, on the first level, you'll get a tutorial. And if you ever play the first level again and have cleared the um, cookies in your uh, browser, then you'll get this again. But you'll only go through it once, most of the time, unless you remove the uh, cookies or you play the first level again after doing that. So in the game. You can use these arrow keys here if you're uh, if you like by clicking them. And there's also an up arrow here here that's hidden by desk right now. It's telling me to to click on it by flashing like that. You can also use the arrow keys to move and the A S W D keys to move. I like to use the arrow keys, and uh, but I'll show you how to use these also. Now the equation will be up here that you'll need to answer, and you'll need to have MathPuff here get the bone that has the answer. And um, the first level is, is simple. Uh, there's no dog catchers in there. But it, on the other levels, if you get caught by the uh, dog catcher, then you'll lose a life, which is a, represented here by a bone. And if you lose all three while you're playing, um, you'll uh, have to start over. And really, you can go back and play any level at any time. So really, that really just pertains to the high score. So if you have a real high score and you lose the last life, then you'll be asked to, uh, some. you could put in that score, but your scoring will start over. And as um, the way you get score points is by having MathPup get these uh, tennis balls, and you'll see little uh, numbers drop down here as your score goes up. The pause button pauses it and allows you to either resume or just exit out of the level, and the sound toggles the sound on and off. So let's go ahead and click this button. And it's telling you a little bit more about solving the equations, a little bit more instructions. Go ahead and click uh, that. And now, I'm ready to go. And I'll use these buttons here, and you can see how it works. Um, I like to use the uh, arrow keys. I'm going to switch over that. But you notice the, the, the points are dropping down here as you get more points. You see them coming down there as I get more points. Another thing I like to do is. Um, clear off all the tennis balls before I actually go around and answer the question because that way I'll get three stars. You get three stars for getting all the tennis balls. So negative three plus two is equal to negative one. So I can, I'm can. i going to go ahead and start using arrow keys. Clear out all the tennis balls and now I'll go get the answer. And when I get tells me a little bit more of what I need to do on the level. It's just telling me that I need to get all the bones on the level to uh, the level be done. And let's get back to the game. Now we've got all the tennis balls. I should get three stars. And negative one plus six is five. And I got all three stars. Now, let me go ahead and pause this. Uh, well, I've got to answer this first. It's telling me that about the dog catcher, a little bit about that. And uh, oh yeah, and it's telling me now about the power-ups. Every five questions you answer, you'll get a um, a chance at at getting a power-up, and you'll have to answer a, a math question. And it pops up right down here. 
the que you'll have to answer it uh, quickly because it's on a short timer. It's a simple math uh, question, and if you get it, then you will have the power-up active for a short time, and the power-up can be invisibility, speed, or extra points. Okay, let's go ahead and click that, and let's go ahead and pause, and get out of that game, and now, now you know it's my first level. I've got three stars. I haven't completed the second level, so I have to complete that one before I can start on the third level. Get back in there, and let's go ahead and finish this level. So uh, I'm going to just move around. It says negative 2 plus 1 is going to be uh, negative 1. So let's clear out some of those tennis balls. Get to negative 1. Now 3 plus negative 7 is negative 4. I've got to stay away from the dog catcher there. Let's get this negative 4. The dog catchers won't change direction, but they can be a nuisance. And uh, later levels there will be more than one. So negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. And it looks like I'm going to get a perfect score on this one also. And level complete. There's my three stars. Now there's the next level. Like I said, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, negative 7 plus 0 is negative 7. Stay away from the dog catchers. They don't change the direction, so you can kind of predict where they're going, but sometimes you get in a bind. Let's get that answer. And I'm going to show you what I have. There's uh, how many minutes an hour? 60. That was quick. Now I've got invisibility, and I can run through. Uh, that's a power up. That's the invisibility power up I was talking about. Negative 6 plus 0. 6. Let me go ahead and let the dog catcher catch me. And I got to start over on that level. And I'll let let them catch me again. Start over on that level. And you notice that there's only one bone left, so that when I get here, the game's over, and I'm able to enter my um, initials. Put that in there, and I enter T J H, and there you can see it right there. So that's how you play this game. Um, I hope you have fun playing it. I hope the video helps some. And thanks for watching.